Hey, this is another episode of Candice Michelle Views where I give my opinion on what I am viewing in the mainstream medium or any platform that you could think of. So today I wanted to go over some of the videos that I've already done and basically give like a refresher on the fact that, um, yeah, I probably was absolutely correct in everything that I say. So um, I'm going to start off with T.I. and Tiny, obviously, because as soon as I dropped that video, their life just unraveled in a frenzy within um, less than a week. Um, a lot of celebrities, they do respond to the videos that I do, and I necessarily don't do any response videos because I really don't care about their response. And a lot of them are not nice. Um, when I did drop that video on Herbo and uh, his girlfriend, Latina, Herbo did come out like not even a couple days after and was like, you know, you know, if I, if I see you, whoever, he's going to catch, if he catch them in traffic, he's going to smack. Uh, and he specifically said a female over Tiana. So um, I was like, okay, sound like an indirect uh, thing to me. We're all from New York. So, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing Herbo in traffic and see what he think he could do. I, don't, I think I could beat him. But that's just my opinion and this is what I'm here to give. So, um, yeah, uh, I doubt that Herbo would have been the one to smack me. He probably would have tried to send somebody my way like he did insinuate in that video as well, stating that, oh, y'all get a female, whatever. No, I want you to do it. You got a problem, right? You do it. I said what I said about you and your girl. Do something. Anyway, um, don't let them do anything. Don't want to bump into traffic. But if you're going to threaten, then yeah, uh, I'm around. But um, yeah, uh, let's let's get off of that. Uh, I wanted to get into Ti and Tiny. So yeah, after I did that video of them, their life is in a frenzy as of right now. I think everybody is see. So don't ever underestimate anything that I'm over here talking about, okay? They're trying to throw you guys off of uh, the fact that Tiny and T.I. are playing multiple roles. It's obvious that she's playing Ari. Um, t Tiny, Ari, it kind of rhymes, whatever. Um, uh, let's, let's look into this. This is what I was viewing. I'm going to be giving my opinions on what I view in the mainstream media or what they're showing us. So this is why I do this. Uh, I just like to decode a lot of these things that they're showing us, okay? So here is where they are saying multiple women are alleging Tiny and Tia abused them during forced threesomes. Forced threesomes. Now, mind you, I already told you they're all sex slaves. So I'm not surprised that this big sex scandal and things about him messing with uh, underage people are arriving now after I did the video on them being uh, one of the Eli's puppets and they're all sex slaves. Uh, I, already, I stand by that and uh, even the social media agrees with me. So, uh, yeah, um, don't really have nothing to say about what they allegedly are doing. But I wasn't shocked or surprised that they are um, in the, the sex trade business doing good things like um, allegedly a, a woman was stating that she, you know, was talking to T.I. And I guess he made an arrangement with her. I don't know if they're getting paid or if she just was like, oh, I just want to be with a celebrity and goes over to wherever T.I. advises her to go. And she says that Tiny was there like, oh, what the... Told you she's the she's the big one. She's the handler. Tiny was there with a drink, serving it to her in her face. As soon as she walks through the door, didn't even, you know, get a jacket off as the way she puts it. And Tiny's like, yeah, loosen up, take a drink, you know. And the girl takes the drink, which I wouldn't have did. I'd have been like, look, girl, first of all, what you doing here? Because <laughs> they, they ain't pay me. We're going to have to revise. But anyway... The girl took the drink and she said the next thing she knows, she wakes up with a bleeding vagina. Okay? This content is usually for 18 years or older. I do see it's a lot of young people. And these young people are very smart and savvy. But just know that if you are under 18, I advise that, you know, this content is for adult. It's adult-like content. Because um, most of the stuff that the Eli do is very sexual behavior. So, of course, it has to be an adult content conversation. So anyway, yeah, the girl woke up with a bleeding vagina. Okay, so what that indicates to me is that uh, I doubt Tiny or Tia 
it, it sounds they sound like Ti has a tiny. You know, what I'm saying? I don't think he's making anybody bleed. Okay, that's all I'm insinuating. So what I believe, which I know, what they do, these people they're getting females or whoever to come over and get them knocked out like the Bill Cosby pill, you know, whatever, allegedly, all these things are alleged, uh, that they are putting in the mainstream media for us to allegedly talk about. Um, they, they're knocking these people out because multiple people are going to be walking through that door and doing whatever to them. T.I. and Tiny probably never did nothing to, with her, you know? The, the thing is that probably T.I. is probably paying her and T.I. is getting paid <laughs> to bring her and knock her out. For whoever to do whatever to whoever you know and i don't know if they they sort out certain girls and or they just randomly pick them i don't know but i do believe that this is how they're making they're making these two are making their pick by you know doing this little sex trade little you know and this is someone that's now blowing the whistle on them and you know as i state i don't care who it is none of these people are doing anything <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Excuse me, I feel like something's in my throat. <clears throat> I don't think any of these people are doing anything on, on their own. Like, oh, now I feel like just blowing a whistle on you when it sounds like you're part of the dirt as well with this woman that's taking the lie detector test. She's another puppet. She, they're, they're, they always are being advised when to blow whistles on people, when to put them in the social media. Because obviously, most likely, these charges are not even going to ride. Things are going to clear out. Just like with the Kevin Hart scandal, the girl that are allegedly accusing T.I. and Tiny have hired the same woman that they all hire. I don't know what that lady named. Lisa Bloom. I mean, these, obviously, she's a puppet as well. You can't find no other lawyer to represent you um i don't know we don't never really hear the outcomes of lisa bloom um uh, accusers we never get like an outcome i don't know if they settle out and that, that's why we don't hear anything but these are all scripted whistleblowers they're they're, they're a part of it they're, this is they're they want ti and them to be blown up like this and they're most likely nothing will really probably happen to them now mind you they said they're, they're gonna put a hold on the feel me hustle show yes I'm trying. Why do the elites have to do the things that I'm trying to help you guys do, which is cancel them? I don't know why the elites have to cancel them. You should have been canceling. They should know why should be watching them in the first place, and they should be canceling it before the scandal even happened. But um, yeah, hopefully that they're saying a pause, but hopefully they actually pause Infinity on that show. We don't need to be seeing uh FBI, TI, or um t Tiny the. Tiny the tiny the tank uh, the tiny the tank the pimp um, on TV, you know, and like I said, she's she's the corrupt one. Okay, <laughs> no wonder uh, she pops up with the drink and no one knew she was gonna be there. Yeah, cause she's she's the one that's in charge. Um, another thing I wanted to go over. Okay, this is why I this is why I do it this way because I have to be controlled of these videos because. Um, they always fall off and I have to go back. It's, it's a lot. Um, but yeah, um, you know how I do. It's very uncut, unedited. I just like to just get out what I want to talk about and call it a day. So I know um, that I try to warn people about the things that they are presenting to us and how corrupt it could really be. So T, I I was uh, talking about uh, when, I, when I did the video initially before the scandal of theirs broke out ti came out with a video before that scandal even happened before that lady even said anything he had like some weird video of him and walking like in a park it's like so scripted and he's like you know T don't talk about T tiny you know not that one and he'll go hard he'll do whatever for her mind you i talked about one of his kids as well he didn't even mention the child he just was like you know don't mess with tiny because you know that's his that's his handler you know don't mess with her so um, when the scandal hit, you know, I was looking like, why is he saying that? And I feel like just like what Herbo said, he's going to catch somebody in traffic. Then it's like Tiny, T.I. did that little scripted video. Like, oh, leave Tiny alone. I'm, you know, right that like two, three days after my video. I'm like, they always responded to me. And guess what? I'm not going to stop because you guys are in my face 
And then here I am on my little, you know, content a show and it's a problem. But you guys get a big giant platform and be annoying all the time. No, leave me on my little platform alone. Let me push my agenda of canceling you guys. Like you push your transgender, sex tray, drug addict, buy, spend all your money, don't have nothing, live check by check because you're trying to keep up with the Joneses agenda. So leave me alone. So um yeah, so after that, when the scandal hit. When you think it's peculiar that the daughter that I talked about, daughter, quote unquote, because uh, I don't know if she was born a, a female, allegedly, this is my opinion, but she spoke out after the scandal hit, after they said her father was forcefully having threesomes, messing with women that could be possibly underage, allegedly. She will tweet after that, not any other kid. They have like eight, 15 kids. This one that I had also in my video, every culprit in my video has a, had some type of thing in the social media. So I was like, you know, I'm onto something. They're, they're, they're sweating. They're, they're just showing out, you know. They're happy they made the, the twinsies files on my, on my platform. And they're out here showing out now. So yeah, the one that I had on the, um, the clip decided to tweet out after the scandal hit so mind you this is now after they are saying her father allegedly her father because i mean come on these people are being made in a factory so they're, they're the incubate babies I, i'm trying to look for that footage of when they had them all the incubators all lined up they're just pushing these people out these are not um they're, they're, these are all um created by design okay it's not like love and fate or one night stand children nope they, these are designed and built to be what they're going to be. And um, they push them out to like border schools and things like that where they're probably getting sexually abused and pushed on drugs. And I'm going to show you some clips of young children and how they're treating them because I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are being very naive uh, when it comes to these children. They're, ve they're, they're very much putting them into a lot of adult-like um, situations. Okay? So um, and we're going to go over that later. But uh, yeah, she decided to tweet out, right? That her father, after the scandal, she tweets, oh, you know, this is so random. My father came into my room at five in the morning and woke me up. And mind you, she says, I had a Charlie horse. So she woke up with a Charlie horse and he had a cup of juice and was like, here, you want some juice at five in the morning, right? So mind you, she, someone asks a question in the comments and she responds. A regular person is never going to get a response. The, the question was scripted. Her responding to that question was scripted, okay? Please understand anything they're doing is not on their own will. It is definitely uh, probably a team doing it. And if it's not a team and she has to actually show her face, then they're going to tell her what to say script by script, okay? So somebody asked her, like, isn't that weird that your father will be in your room at 5 in the morning with juice? And she was like, yes, this is not normal. But I was thirsty, so I took the juice. I mean... Do y'all not see anything weird about that? They're, they're, first of all, these all corporates are in, corporates in my video. And then here they are acting out. She's over here saying she was woken up by T.I. at 5 in the morning with a Charlie horse in her neck. And he had some juice. And guess what? She was thirsty. She drank the juice. What does that kind of sound like to you? Decode it. Decode it. She, she, she's literally probably given. Like, unless she was probably knocked out on something and they did some things to pertain to what her neck whatever her neck is connected to her boca la boca you know like maybe the things were going inside the la boca to cause some type of pain to her neck and then he wakes her up to see if she remembers anything by asking if she wants some juice I don't know what's going on in that crib, but at the end of the day, that was obvious that she after this scandal you give out a story like that it sounds very sexual. And this is your father that you were tweeting about. And then you actually say it was very un... It's not normal. You you even say it's not normal, but you went ahead and took the juice. This, it sounds very indirect of some type of fellatio going on with her own father or somebody else. She's knocked out and then he comes to see if she's even alive. You know, wake up up off of and it's, are you thirsty? Because I know somebody I, I just had... Whoever, you know, whoever comes and get these people and do whatever they want to them. He probably was like, you know, are you okay after that? You know, trust me, it's, it's, it definitely was a creepy, creepy uh, insinuation. She was not being innocent about it. 
and everything is scripted. So, yeah. What's up, Miss E Money? What's up, buddy? Can you we know, roll I'm gonna... I'm going to put this on mute because they are so desperate nowadays where they're just copywriting the crap out of you. And, you know, once you get something like that, it's very difficult for me to edit stuff like that out to keep my video up. So a lot of these things are just going to have to be muted and I'm going to have to dictate it. So uh, this little girl, she was pranking her brothers or uh, trying to prank her alleged brothers. These people are not related. This is a force to care. These people, you have you ever heard of people having a foster care with adults? Um, you know, they, they take care of like the adults, you know, like they be having like the 12, 15 year olds, whatever. Like, this is what's going on here. But anyway, as you can see, she was trying to prank her brothers. But yeah, here go Tiny comes in, right? And then she drinks the juice, right? She comes in and drinks the juice, right? But as you can see, when she drinks the juice, she she like literally goes straight for this juice, right? No comment. Can you light it up? So what do you plan on doing tonight? I'm talking to Look you. Look how she sips oh, it. Oh, me? Yes. Look yeah, how she yeah. sips it. Who <laughs> <laughs> put this in the refrigerator? Not me. You did it. I, I, I see you. Look why you smiling. Why is she smiling? Okay. Did you see how she tried? She sipped the juice. Who? If you're thirsty. And I don't even know why would you go for a juice that was made like that. When you have like some juice, Tropicana juice in your house or something like that. But instead she goes straight for like some juice that somebody made. And look how she sips it. She barely takes it. Then you must have not been thirsty, right? If you were thirsty, you would have took a big gulp of that if you trusted this juice. But she knew it was a juice, a bad juice. And she had to, she didn't even take anything in her mouth. And she's like, ew, look at this nasty juice. Who made this, right? And pours it out. I'm just showing you that to show you that. They're, they're super scripted. They're super scripted. She goes in directly to get this juice. And then goes. She, she, like she, she knew it was going to be disgusting. So she didn't even want to put a sip in her mouth. Who does that? If this is a trusted juice that you went for, wouldn't you be taking a gulp and be like, oh. And, and. So they're scripted. They're super scripted. She probably did this scene like 15 times. The kids are involved with this scripted lifestyle please stop looking they, they, i don't know how innocent they are because it's like they're programmed and they're they're finito so we gotta get them out of here too you know but um anyway i don't know what you're gonna do with the kids <laughs> but i i'll leave it up to you guys on what you should do with these uh program robot kids so, you know they, they're they're super a part of the scam that's going on of them keeping us in la la land while they are over here you know in their g5s um, drinking at Starbucks, you know, and, and having us do everything. And then the people that's doing that and have them as puppets, they're over here har harassing real people, trying to make them sex slaves, you know, acting like you're going to date the celebrity. And then next thing you know, you wake up with a bleeding vagina because they so this disgusted celebrity sold you off to probably like 15 other men in a, a Elite world where they made probably a bundle or, you know, this is just a part of it, you know, because I don't even know how much money they really make or whatever, because they're all in, like, gated communities and, and, and they, they give them all these homes. How many homes did you see T.I. and Tiny in since they've been on the show? It was in, like, three different mansions. Like, oh, acting like they're moving. Like, please, who moves that many times in a mansion? Like, how? Anyway, who cares, right? Just know that this is super scripted. That was stupid. The girl is, the, the, the daughter slash, who knows, boy is a part of it and here she goes talking about she had a crook in a crook in her neck and she drank the juice all right so that's all i really had to say about tiny and ti that um uh, oh yeah and on, on top of that because irie in money bags was also in that video and of course right on schedule all five corporates ti tiny the daughter slash son allegedly in money bags and ivory all in a frenzy within that week money bags and ivory so-called breaks up they pretend they are not together anymore. Then boom, they get caught in like a public airport. They're so scripted and annoying, you know. They're just making a, 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 a they're just making a, being annoying. But why at this moment? Why all well, five of you guys are being so annoying at this moment? And I never do response videos, but I said, Dad, they went so hard. Let me just go ahead and just re recap that everything I say in these videos is accurate. And then look how 
nervous and uncomfortable they get and start to act out like as if they're real characters. Mind you, uh, you never really see Ari did Tiny's on the scene. And then if you don't never really see Tiny and Ari's on the scene, just pay attention to that. That usually when one is doing a lot, you never really go. And one person was like, what happened to Ari? Because Tiny was doing a lot with, I think, Toya. And then I'm going to do a video on Tiny and Toya. I kind of figured out something with them. And I'm going to give a video for that. I have so many, I got like six videos I'm working out on the same time. So just work with me. Uh, I get all over the place because they just, things just get thrown at me. And I'm just like, oh, I got to grab this info up. Because I learned with the, when I was doing Tokyo and Cardi that if you don't grab up certain stuff and you try to save it, it could be erased or gone. So um, I try, I grab a lot of things and I, I'm like all over the place. But I'm trying to get all of them together and try to push it out. Um, talking about Tiny, talking about Tokyo and Cardi, that's my next subject. Uh, yeah, Cardi B has this new video out that I know. I hope no one gives a, a F about. I hope it's up in the air, just like the stupid video name is. I hope you, you throw it up in, into the garbage. Um, yeah, video name is, new single name is Up. Somebody's already accusing her. You know it's a scandal behind it because no one's going to pay attention to it without a scandal. So here goes the scandal. It was somebody else's song, exactly the same chorus or whatever and Cardi B act like she had no idea and she did it before them and it's like honestly sis you're not composing a thing you're like she said it's her it's my voice yeah I, is it really your voice they auto seen y'all so it's probably your voice slash machinery so not it's nothing going on but you being there so my, I'm I'm double downing on that this is Tokyo Styles man like you're not gonna I think that they switched Tokyo Styles out and probably put her as a because mind you i told you tokyo looked at he was a short looking asian light-skinned person at some point then now he's like some tall brown skin person and that's why they don't have a height on him because they switched him up so you want you wouldn't c c connect the fact that this is the same person allegedly my opinion as cardi b okay tokyo is cardi b's number one supporter oh my god he posts her, he supports everything she does, he doesn't miss a beat. And don't tell me it's because he does her hair, because, I mean, doesn't he do a lot of celebrities here? Cardi B is not as hot as she was when she was doing Bodak Yellow. Let's be honest with ourselves. If you like the girl, great. But she's literally doing commercials and TV shows, just like Tokyo, doing TV shows. Because <laughs> they got the same deal, same person. But, um, and, you know, so she's, like, promoting everything Cardi does. She's a freaking number one fan. Why? Why you're just doing a girl here? She doesn't. When y'all in the same video, like that, she doesn't even acknowledge you. She doesn't even pay. She, Tokyo be here doing all this to her here, and she'll be like, "Yeah, everybody." Like that. She doesn't. Tokyo's not there. She, <laughs> they had Tokyo run up and do. I see a couple of things where, and it's not. It's like really brief things, but there no. It's never no direct interaction. Like as if they're together. Like oh Tokyo, one second or, or like oh am I good? Am I good? Like never, never acknowledge this person, right? And we're going to get to another video of them not acknowledging each other, doing some parent trap type of double video, like where they're in the same clip, but it's one of the same person. And they did double act, just like the parent trap, just like Lindsay Lohan. And I'm going to get to that. So here goes Cardi B. Please pay attention to her keeping her legs tightly closed. Please pay attention to her keeping her legs tightly closed. Trust me, she's making sure you don't see nothing slipping out of there. She's, she's holding that thing in for dear life. Okay? Mind you, her shape goes up and down. She looks super thick one day, then she looks like she's all slim and tiny another day. These are added on body parts. Okay? Who does she look like in that video just now? Look how tight Caitlyn Jenner has his legs. Look at it. This is a transgender move, okay? This is a transgender move, all right? Where they keep it nice and tight. Like, oh, I don't want to have no issues here. You know, let me keep it nice and tight. Why? You got a whole little tiny bikini on. What, what, what are you covering? What are you being shy for? What's so shy? She's not shy. This is just what they do. This is just what they do. It's how they hide the jank, okay? I like to call it jank. I don't know, cause <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, um, Tokyo's uh her number one fan, okay? This is Tokyo's 
Tokyo's uh, live on her Instagram. She's just like obsessed. Everything is Cardi, 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 then some of her stuff, you know? And if you don't think they look alike, F you. F you, okay? You got to really pay attention, buddy. You got to really pay attention. Don't worry about the add-ons that they do and how they, how they make one look a little bit taller than the other. These people are twinsies. Look at it. Pay attention. I mean, pay attention. This is Cardi B looking browner than usual, right? With the face mask on. Looking identical. Looking identical. I'm, I'm tired of showing you that. Tired of showing you guys this. I don't care what they do. I've seen the video where she, uh, after I did the video with Cardi B and Toki, uh, Tokyo Styles, guess what, you know, they, of course they responded. Um, she had, um, Cardi B had a birthday for her daughter. I, think, I don't know if I mentioned this in a prior video. Cardi B had a, 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 a birthday for her daughter in, in Tokyo was there, but guess what? They were not in the same scene. One clip they showed to Cardi B all over the place, and then in that another clip, it was like Cardi was holding the phone and then Offset was dancing. It was like five people dancing and it was like Offset in Tokyo. Like, why wouldn't you be up there dancing? Your man up there, but no, Tokyo was up there dancing. Then it seemed like Tokyo tried to come by Cardi and like laugh around, but they, she never, Cardi never shows herself. She never like puts it with her friend. Like, hey, like, it was just, trust me, they are so corny. I'm like, bro, you're just making it worse. Like for my eyes, you're making it worse for yourself. Like this is so parent trap. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna play this. I don't know. Local access show. We want everyone to support local restaurants, but we never manipulate you the way all these other commercials do. Manipulate, manipulate. That's the key word. Yeah, Look at the babies. Totally. Take these babies back. Yeah, we'd never. Why would they hold the baby? Like. Cameo. Right, Cardi B. Yeah. Look at this. Local. What does she look like? We'll jump on the Tokyo. latest trend. Like how 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 desperate is she getting? How desperate is she getting? What 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 kind of commercial is that? Oh, we'll never manipulate you. And then they got the baby. Like they just grabbed this kid up the way how he pushed it up with a wig on. Like take these kids back to where they belong. Stop making them. And then here goes Cardi B stamping that crap. She's there stamping it. She need, you know, doing anything. Commercials, all kinds of stupid TV shows. Just want to show you that these people are weird. It's weird stuff going on. So don't sit there and tell me what I'm saying is far-fetched. And then they over here doing videos, talking about them manipulating people with babies and, 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 and star guesses, okay? So we're going to move on from that. That's I'm just recapping what I have done. I am advising you people that I am on to something. These people are in groups. They keep them in groups. The, the most of the storylines always tie into each other. You think it's a coincidence that Tiny and T.I. was acting a fool and then Ari and Moneybags right behind him is, is in the headlines and it seems like Moneybags is on his rise and then T.I. is on his way to jail or something like that. Like, stop. You got to start to think about it that they're, they're switching the characters out because one is going to be doing more than the other. Just like with Tiana and, and Dream Doll. Tiana is pregnant because dream door has this new video out she's trying they're trying to push the crap out of these she has like another she had like two songs she doesn't even sound like herself rapping on these songs she sounds very hardcore for some reason and she doesn't even look like something that would come out of out of her little body you know the, the image that they're trying to give her like it's like sexy but hardcore new york mind you you know tiana i mean yeah tiana Latina, Latina she has to sit it out so called pregnant because you know they're gonna be having dream doll all over the place doing trying to push these little two singles. So you gotta understand that they have one working hard, the other one's gonna be in some type of scandal, they're gonna be either in jail, pregnant, it's gonna be something going on with them where they're gonna be sitting it out, you're not gonna hear much from them. That's the point. The point is like, okay, we got pregnant, you're gonna see her, but not as much. And it's because she's pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Stop, stop. Y'all gotta cut it out. They all have the same looking stomachs, they have the same pregnancy. None of these people have issues with their pregnancy, none of them get like you know, too much sore and it swole up. None of them. None of them. None of their noses spread out. None of their face. None of their faces change and get sore. Chunky. I've seen so many people pregnant and had so many pregnancies that it's like, why are these celebrities so different from from the rest of these females? Like, what kind of female are they? Where they're just all belly, no stress, no. Don't worry. Once you drop it, you'll be back in a bikini. 
weird. But listen, why they're getting having all these kids is because they have a lot of kids that they have to place. So all these people were having like, did you see Tiana's second kid? The Tiana's second kid don't look nothing like them. Um, if the kid looks like them, they look only like one parent only. Because maybe they have to mix some type of e-light with the actual person. So those two parents are not going to ever be seen because it's not going to, you know, they have to mix it. Or however they do it. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they will have some type of uh, already, um, you know, like a certain DNA situation where all of them are starting to look alike. And these people, oh, it looks just like, because and they, it could be somebody not related to them looking alike because they're all from the same like strand. So it's like, oh, the same strand. Okay, I get it. So you act like you're having children, but it's really just being pushed out because it's the same strand. So you could actually have them in the same family or you could put them somewhere else. To, not to be all over the place, but just like with Wendy Williams, she um she had a clip where first of all, why would her mother just pass away right before the show, and then they portray her mother as if she was like not liking Wendy being fat, you know, sound like a little bit of a like you know not so nice, you know, but then she dies before this even comes out. Think about that, and the fact that she's like, oh, when Wendy came into my life, like you had, and then at some point. You got to think, what does she mean when she came into her life? Like when she had her or when she just came into her, when they gave it to her, when they gave her this kid? That's what it sounds like. You know, you got to really grasp onto your wording because wording is everything. Uh, I, and just like at a job that I had, it's like, you know, they're like, oh, well, you didn't, you got to listen to the wording. Uh, we said we may be, <laughs> that may means everything. Don't listen to, oh, they helped, da, 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 da. And then there was a may in here because may means we're not, you know, or what, the wording. Listen to the wording. Or you'll, you'll feel like, oh, I'm getting skin. When you're not really getting skin, just nothing grasping on to the, the wording. <laughs> and that's what the English language is all about. It's about a trickery. It's about an illusion. So listen to the wording. And you will not probably get as skin as people are getting skin that if you listen to the wording. Listen to how they word it. So, yeah, Wendy Willing's mother was like, oh, yeah, when she was sent. When they, she was sent into my life, sent. Or was she like I understand what you may be saying, but it just didn't sound it sounds like the word it was an actual she was giving to her. And then on top of that, look at the brother or her all in a like come on, I thought you and your brother got along and then now you don't. Bull crap. They they they're making Wendy is leveling up. She gave her mother out, the brother's embarrassing her. You see the level up of it. Wendy's show is going nowhere. That means she's probably gonna be another seven seasons in. <laughs> You know, that's what that means when they embarrass you and they kill people off and all these other things like that. Um, so, yeah, and then one of the pictures uh, in, the, in the show with Wendy, after the movie, she was doing like a, a, actually Wendy, not the movie, but after the movie, Wendy herself was actually doing like a commentary of the movie, like explaining where they got the information, like she was going over her little life herself and then she showed pictures of her family and her brother um, her mother and sister they were all in a picture and then her brother had like some orange shirt on that had like it was definitely a freemasonry coding so i'm like come on this is a put together family she was like and then when he was like i couldn't wait to get out of my family house like people are always saying that like, if you live in such a nice suburban crib or whatever, like, how bad can life really be? But I can understand that some people probably just, like, I just want to get out. But the way how she put it, it's just like, they, they're not really related. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're all being put into the scripted scripted family. And the, the picture shows that the, these pictures are even scripted. Because look how the brother was in that, that coated shirt, you know, just to let you guys know that they're all a part of this Freemasonry or whatever. You know, they're, in, they're, they're down. They're in there. That they're, they're part of it. And they show these these they show these signals because the right people need to know that it's a way that they speak to each other. So that's why they put it in there. It's not really for us. We we may see it. Some people may know about it and see it, but we don't really know the meanings behind it, the actual meanings. But that that is them speaking and conversating with each other. So anyway, so I caught that. I was like, oh, these people are so compromised, right? So um yeah um. Let's get back to where I was going to go because this is going to be long. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I just want to go through all the little things that has been occurring that I felt like I have touched already and I was correct. So let's go to Breeshore. Great. You know, and of course, when you have a color in your name, I don't trust it. Like Chris Brown, Breeshore Gray, Red, all these names. Like, uh, they're made up names. Um, Anyway, and a lot of these names are always connected to some like... um 
ancient somebody just like with young pharaoh and i'm gonna go in a little bit on young pharaoh in this video everyone's gonna get every video that i've done they're gonna get touched in here just recap it so yeah uh the at i mean everybody know that the at is like a hsu god so i mean that's not his real last name right but yet here he goes promoting that name he has he was recently he's like oh let me make sure i get all the points together the points or the script because he made sure he was he was like yeah i'm trying to manufacture people manufacture people so he's he's using his words they're using their words know that they use their words the wording is everything that's why he had to read off that script because whoever he is working with they want him to use those words they don't want him to add it they want him to use those words and he's making sure now that he's leveling up that he's sticking to the script Okay, so um, anyway, we're gonna get down to him too. He's gonna, he's coming, he's coming. So we're gonna talk about Bruce Shaw Gray. He recently was in the headlines, saying that he is on drugs. At last time we saw him, he was on drugs and in jail. Now they show him again that he's still on drugs and in jail. You know why? Because homeboy is taking off. Homeboy is taking off. He don't he don't even wanna he don't even wanna be. Bree Shaw anymore. He he don't even want to be him no more. He like, you know what? My character here is taking off. I don't need to be this guy no more. And then everybody's like, oh, um, NL, NLE. I don't know his name. I don't care. The fact that 50 Cent was like shouting him out, all these people shouting him out. Like, it's like, where do you get these kids from? I never even heard of a song of his. Like, these are the younger crowd, but yet 50 Cent and the older people are trying to give him, you know, the vouch. That means he got the A OK in the E Light world, where upper, older, upper people are giving him like the, the, the thumbs up, okay? Don't don't get confused about those shout outs. So they're like, oh, he bald his head. Then a lot of people over here are like, oh, it's a ball cast, it's a ball cast. So you're weird that they do this. You're weird that they put on mask and, and ball cast. Like, could, could you really tell? It's a ball, do you see where the ball cast starts and end? Are you really going to tell me that you can see where the ball cast starts and end? Okay? So don't tell me that you don't. This could be a whole mask get up just without hair that they just made a new one. You're not seeing this stuff. This stuff is good stuff. They do a good job in disguising these people to make them look like whoever they want them to look like. Okay? And only why I was bringing him up is because they, they still got him on drugs and who knows where he's at. They can't find him because this guy is blown up. Okay? Anytime you see somebody giving this guy a praise, look at the number seven here. He's coded out. He's coded out. All right? Everybody know that this scene was super fake. He was spitting. He was fake spitting all over the place. So you want to reenact that? I think everybody understands that this guy was doing a fake spitting scene. And you wanted to reenact that? These are scripted people. These people are living fake realities. There's, there's no real reality with them, okay? Cancel him. Cancel the NLE guy. Cancel Bree Short Empire. Cancel them. We don't want to see their, we don't want to see Bree Show on drugs and in jail anymore just because you guys, they, just because they want to keep uh, the other character going, okay? We need to just start canceling them so he can just be himself and, and they can stop putting him on drugs, okay? Okay, so let me go back to the Cardi B, you know? This is the video I wanted you guys to see. This is the only thing that I do on a live for. We want to see if Cardi has the takes to be in my shoe. Well, let's figure it out. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on. Mind you, you're never going to see them in the same thing together, and they're not even going to interact. They're all. They're both going to be talking to him directly. And isn't it funny that they talk? They have him in the video, and he's a guy. That plays another role of a, a transgender looking female. Similar to what Tokyo and Cardi is doing. You think it's, it's, it's a coincidence that they, they're doing a video with him? The same, he, they're doing the same thing he's doing. Tokyo was the guy. That Cardi was the girl. He does a guy-girl role. And then here they are doing a video. Now, they never interact. They just talk to the guy only. Body for me. Party. This is the world party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. This is all everything that I do, and I live for. We want to see if Cardi has what it takes to be in my shoes. Did you hear that? We want to see if Cardi has. Let's watch it again. This is all everything that I do, and I live for. We want to see if Cardi has what it takes to be in my shoes. Well, let's 
She's only talking to him. They're both only talking to him. Look, she's turning around like this girl's not even in the same room. You guys gotta start paying attention to that because that's what I'm talking about. They had they had them in the same room. Cardi B was turning around and going like it was like this girl wasn't even standing right. Like Tokyo was not even standing right there. She's like in the front, like, oh yeah, I don't know. Why pop? When you why would you she goes and turns past her? It's like why would you stop to her and be like, right? Or something. Say something to her. Touch this girl, hug her, say with something, give them a nice distance between each other like they got COVID. It's just it's like a couple. On. Like, I mean, I, I cannot continue. Don't even get me on a CVD. One nine, and then they just passed the bill for one nine. Like this stuff is just so annoying. Like, come on, CV nineteen. Now we got a bill for one point nine trillion, nine trillion tr three nine. Like one times nine is nine, and then the trillion is the three. Like it's all coded. Like let's stop the coding already. We're tired of it. We're tired of these three six and three niners. Okay, three nine is the same as three six because nine is an upside down six and they do everything in reverse. It's a yin and a yang. It's like, it's, so it's all good. The nine and the six is like the cancer sign. Um, the cancer is a direct across from the Capricorn. You got to understand the, 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 the backstory of the Janus, the Janus, Capricorn, Janus, whatever. It, we, I believe is where they originally from the Baphomet. And it goes straight across to the cancer, which is the first, the, the guy that created so-called white people, the, the, the cancer, the cane, the cane where he, Isis gave him the, the you know, took all his color away and gave him cancer. That You guys got to understand how to order charts and all that go. I am not a teacher. I understand the information. Don't care about it. I do not care about the ideologies. It does not help us in life. It just keeps us stagnant, learning all that information. Young Farrell is an info trader. He gives you information that is not that anything that is made in a book. Well, if he's sitting here reading information in the book, the, the, the decode TR, he is not of help to you. You need to you need to read the stuff or understand that stuff, but not for you to intake it. For you to be like, look how trickery they are. You gotta, you know, you gotta read that stuff to be like, look at this. Look at they telling us. Not to read it and be like, oh, that's what that's how it works. No, no, and that's why he's an info trader. He's a trader with information. You know that that's not correct information. It's ideology, none of it's factual. How the earth became, oh, well, megahertz and other, okay, cute theory. Who the hell is proving that? How the hell are you proving that? So stop it. None of it's factual information. This is all ideology stuff that they, they use to continue to uh, get all in there, you know, to manipulate. They, they give you information and be like, oh, well, this sounds so educated. It sounds so smart. And then you're listening to that person. Now, I don't care if you sound like, you, you know, you can't even, you can't even like read or write. I think that you're better off with that than being educational and believing the, ed the stuff that they're educating you with. But anyway, let's keep it moving. It's all a manipulation. That's all I'm trying to say. So where I was at, I just skipped that stuff because I had forgotten to show you that stuff with the Cardi B um, situation. But um, where I was at with it was with this guy. You know, anybody that's portraying him it, it ain't crap because we all know that this guy is this guy. This guy. Look at the stupid face. Look at the stupid face. Same stupid face. Same stupid face. I told you I'm going to do a video on him. I am going to do a video on him. I am going to do a video on Tupac, but I already told you that Tupac got me. You know, he, he beat me in the head at some point, you know, so I'm a little sour. I'm a little sour pussed over it. Look at the same stupid faces. Please pay attention to it. The mannerisms, the cheek, the smile, the cheeks, the smile, everything, how he's staring. I'll probably try to get a, get a video, but it ain't going to be anytime soon, you guys. I ain't going to lie to you. He, he got me good. He got me good. I, I mean, this is an incredible actor. He It's hard to get me. He got me. Aaliyah got me. And I really idolized Marilyn Monroe as well. And all three of those people suck, okay? You got to really okay. just understand what it is for what it is, okay? So how Cardi B and um, Tokyo Styles is doing it, they're basically mimicking things like this. This movie came out in 98, brothers and sisters. 98. This is one person. Playing in a whole entire movie. 
a whole entire movie. You know how hard? That's why Lindsay Lohan is a nut trying to steal a kid. Remember, she was trying to steal a kid and she was supposed to got hit. And she's like, ooh, because she, she wanted some adrenaline bad, you know? Because she she had to literally play two roles in one movie. You know how long it probably took her to get established to do both those roles and have it all in, it, yeah, one movie. But it's like filming two movies. If you got to play both roles simultaneously like that to have it cohesive in one video. They've been doing this since 98. They've been doing this before that. But look how this whole movie was composed. You can't tell that it's like two different, that is one person. She's literally interacting with each other and she interacts. She does a better job interacting with herself than Cardi B and Tokyo. They can't, they can't figure out where they're at for nothing. So they don't even bother. She can't, they can't even put an X marks the spot. So they'd be like, look, Cardi, she's right here. Talk to Tokyo. Never. She's too stupid. That girl is not that smart, bro. She's just like, oh, no, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And keeping her legs tight so you won't see her penis. That's all she focuses on. Um, yeah, so, you know, he had the itchy nose, just like uh, Young Pharaoh. If you can look at this nose, like, you can see clear as day this is a, a mask. Nobody's face and nose looks this weird, okay? He had the itchy, he was itching his nose. He was doing this rubby, itchy nose thing, just like Young Pharaoh was. Like, he was doing this, like, so many times, and then every time he did it, like, you know, his skin started to melt. Like, look at his eye. Like, why would your eye live? Not even, it's not even, look at how this eye is and look at how low. Like, you gotta see how weird the mask is. The mask is, like, all cobodulated. He needs to straighten it out. He needs to straighten. Look at the eye and look at the cheek. It's, like, sliding a little bit more than the other sides. And then look at the nose. The nose look all Rudolph the Red Nose at the at the tip. Just like how Cardi B's was. So it could change. They could change like. They like to use tips of the nose. So it could change like the, fr the function of the nose. So it won't look so obvious. And it's obvious that that's like some type of add-on. Like look at it. Look at the Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer. Look. Like that Red Nose that they sell at um, Rite Aid. When they try to make you pay a dollar for. You know they put that Red Nose at the tip of your thing. Like, look. This is not a part of his skin people. It's not a part of his skin. Definitely um, add it on. Add ons. Add ons to the face. Okay? So, yeah, we're at the Young Pharaoh now. Most of y'all know who he is in the comic book and see. But just, just, uh, for those of you that may be new who may not know who the general is, um, Seti is, Seti is, I, I'm gonna say who Seti is to me. You gotta experience him for, for, for you to figure out who he is to you. And for me, um, Seti has been a lot of figures. Um, for those of you who have followed me through, I hate the word, I gotta say it though, the conscious community. For those of you who have followed me through my conscious community journey, y'all, you, you all know personally that. Now you hate the word conscious community journey. Now he's like, oh, now I'm off that. Like, he's too good for the conscious word. When that's what you started your whole get up on, like, you know, that's how, how you really was, like, you you was over here doing all these uh, uh, awakening sh skits, and now you're like, oh, I don't even want to see it. Like, anyway, let's keep it moving. And you see how he'd be like, oh, I get my information from the ancestors. Da, da, da. These, these ancestors, you would think it's like some type of spiritual. No, it's regular people in the communities that they are from. You always got to be a part of some type of community to be on any kind of big platform. They're not just coming out of nowhere like me with no help, nobody behind me, no one helping compose, no no scripts, just right off the top. No, you got to be a part of stuff. These people are definitely a part of little communities. You hear that? Why is he doing everything? Why Why was he always where he's supposed to be? This is, guess what he is. Guess it. Just guess. Guess. Guess what he is. Guess what he is. 
He's his handler. He was his handler. January Capricorn. This is him praising him on his birthday. He even sent him a couple bucks to cash at. Where he was all excited. Like, oh, wow. I'm not even going to tell how much you gave me, okay? Paying his handler back for putting him on and putting him in the right direction. Capricorn, January Capricorn, it, it, or December, they're really good at pushing people to where they need to be, what they need to do, what they're going to... They're not good themselves at manipulating and, and, and doing what this person has to do to get to where they're going. They're not really that good at that, but they know what you need to do to get to the higher points. But they don't want to get sexed out. They don't want to, you know, so they stay in the background and they let the people that's willing to get dirty. They they help them get real dirty. Like we got, we're going to get you to, if you want to get there, you're going to get there. Just listen to what I say. As he's sitting here saying in front of you, I already told you these January, uh, these Capricorns are handlers. The person who I would give the credit to be that character. Um, this is the person who, who seen the potential of where my mind was going and helped me to put my mind in the proper direction. And so, um, you know, I would, I would say he's like a father figure, a uncle figure, a, a grandfather figure, an older brother, an older brother figure. He's just an all around, um, healthy masculine figure in my life personally since I met him since day one and um, I got a lot of respect for him um, I respect him because not only would he support me when I'm right but he would not support me when or if I'm wrong so that that also escalates and evolves right there, there nobody know about it. that's right nigga that's just being a Capricorn you, one thing about a Capricorn you gonna, is you going you going to respect us or you going to just respect us. It ain't going to be, it ain't nothing going around that. He, it's, we demand the respect. And on top of that, I already know that he's uh, uh, making sure this guy gets where he needs to go. Because they are very good at, uh, just like with Beyonce mother, you know, all that. They make sure that these people, if you want to get somewhere and you're really and you're willing to learn. Virgos are very perfectionist. Only thing they need is for somebody to put them in the the right ear, the right, you know, and then they're going to, they're going to shine. You know what I'm saying? Because these people really like to be on, on point of, you know, put, put me where I need to be and I'm going I'm to do my thing, you know? So it's a great combination. But anyway. That's right. That's right. That's right. But that's, that's what also um, helps to elevate and evolve my respect uh, for the you know, And I want everybody to, at minimum, show them some love. Okay. And that's just to show you that, uh, yeah. Young Pharaoh is a super big agent. If you guys don't understand that, then don't don't be on my channel because that's that's what I really stem from um, doing these uh, scammers and people that are not telling the hundred percent truth and acting like they're just coming out of nowhere. Being, I'm like, man, it's obvious. It's obvious what's going on here. I I know, like I said, I, I am one as well, and I try to live down the stigma. But God, we we gotta have um, some knowledge of what they portray these Capricorns to be. And why they're always in a position of being the handlers um, because of the, the very direct um, behavior that they have of making sure people are doing this, this, and that, and that. It's like a, a task list. And if you have the potential, you will, you will like, like a Virgo or things like that, like people like him. If you have the potential, you will make it with this person helping, making sure that you are doing what you're supposed to do. If you have the potential to make it. But anyway, um, if you if you don't think this is him, I don't know what to tell you guys. I really, I really don't know what to tell you, man. Same, same as that person, okay? Allegedly. Somebody, shout out to the commenter as a commenter on my page. I really do appreciate all you guys' comments, especially when y'all point things out that I didn't see. This guy right here had blue. He said, look at the studio lights in his in his glasses. Look at the blue. And then mind you, if you go back to the video, when he leaves out the frame, the blue, the blue light is not, when he goes back here, the blue light is not in his glasses. So he's in like some type of area right here where blue lights are flashing on his eye when he's supposed to be just doing some regular live with the, with the, with the phone, like, you know, with him having the phone like this. But yeah, blue lights are are in your in your like where are you at? Where are you at? And he's like, oh, I'm not in the studio. I'm not on no green thing. Wouldn't move nowhere. So this is just another step. There's another thing that adds on of what the heck here? What the heck are you guys up to? What what the, what are y'all what are y'all doing? 
What's up with you people? Look at the blue thing in his eyes. Shout out to the commenter for pointing out that he has studio lights in his eyes. If you go back to that video, when once he moves out this frame and go to the back, the blue light is no longer in his glasses because he, some, way, some way they have some type of blue lighting on him when he comes up to the front. Which indicate he's not just outside hanging out because every time I'm outside hanging out, I don't have no blue studio lights in my glasses or in my eyes, okay? So we're going to go over to this video. I need y'all to understand this for, for a specific reason. And shout out to Conscious X. I actually got this clip from him. He does a great job exposing a lot of these celebrities, even though I worry for him. You know, he's a little young. So I'm not mad at the fact that he's still holding on to some people. But uh, when he gets older, maybe he'll realize uh, all of them are all of them are um, a part of this game. Even the ones that are acting like they're trying to help, they always have a good cop, bad cop. And the, the good cop and the bad cop work together to try to get a confession. Whether you think, oh, this is the good cop and that's the bad cop, they actually ask before they even come in the room, well, who wants to play the role? Because they still, the, the agenda is still the same, if you get what I mean. So don't think that these people that's giving you information is like, oh, they're the good ones. Yeah, they're the good cop. And if you just heard the analogy that I gave you, they're all they're two different cops, one agenda, okay? So anyway, yeah, and like I said, if, if you're going to be hanging around Puffy or doing anything on the mainstream media, making it to mainstream media, trust and believe you're, you're, not, you're not a regular uh, person like me or whoever, okay? And maybe one day when people get old enough or, you know, start to realize uh, how this really works, you'll realize that none of them are going rogue. None of them are, are changing their mind to say, oh, I'm getting out. None of them. They are in, blood in, blood out. They're in there. If they don't, if they don't want to be in there, they'll cash them out. They'll cash them out, okay? They're not going to go let them go in and do what they're doing. They're going to take them out and put up somebody else there. And whether they're being truthers or not, that was part of their script. That's what they're telling them they, they can do. They're allowing them to do this. But anyway, let me just go. This is just something that I stole from his Conscious X page. Um, because Daylight was uh, going over um, Cat Williams, and I feel like this is just more information to just show you that Cat Williams is definitely playing multiple roles, and that one of those roles are is Young Pharaoh, um, allegedly. Let's go. I talked to Cat Williams. I just had a long talk to Cat Williams not too long ago. I had a long talk with Cat. And Cat, you know, y'all wouldn't know what Cat Williams told me, bro. I'm going to tell you what Cat Williams told me. Cat Williams told me. Out of his own mouth, whenever you decide to speak up, whenever you decide to speak up, they're going to do two things to you. They're going to either reprogram you and make you crazy, same thing they did to DNA. They're going to try to make you look crazy in the world eyes. The media is going to try to turn the world against you so you can't, so your vote, your word don't have an opinion. Or they're going to kill you and bring you back. So what I did was, I started making my own self look crazy in the media so they could leave me alone. I started making my own self look crazy in the media so they could leave me alone. I'm starting fights with 12-year-olds. I'm getting beat up by 12-year-olds. Man, I would have beat that little boy. I would have knocked him out if it was that serious. I just gave him a jab. I now, mind you, like y'all said, like everybody, like everybody was saying in my comments, oh, if that was Young Pharaoh, he'd have knocked him out. Young Pharaoh, did you just hear what he said? Did you just hear what he said? That Cat Williams said that he could have knocked him out. He could have did. So shut up. Shut up in my comments saying, oh, if that was Young Pharaoh, he could have put the beats on him. Just like Cat Williams said, he could have put the beats on him. What part y'all don't get? Cat Williams look exactly like Young Pharaoh right now. They both got their body weights up. They both look exactly man. You better get out of here. I don't care. Whoever thinks that Young Pharaoh is a is a regular person just came, just came like me on YouTube and blew up like that, then get, get off my page. I don't want you on my page no more. I don't care who it is because you know he's compromised. You know he's a whole agent. You know he's a whole agent. And on top of that, like I said, there's no all those connections to Cat Williams. There's no way that he's not some some type of format of Cat Williams, a descendant of Cat Williams, something, something, an incubator baby, same DNA, whatever. But it's still a part of the same scam, bro. He's still part of the Melita elite. Paid his mama. I did all that. I paid the whole family. What? First of all, y'all not even thinking. What? I'm in the middle of a, in the game playing soccer for. I don't play soccer. Now what? I'm doing in a random park playing soccer. But see, the internet don't think like that. So what I'm saying is, I 
I had to make myself look crazy so I could go off the radar. Go off the radar for what? To go where? To do what? Oh, to go on YouTube and be Young Pharaoh? Okay. And he already said in that last video with the studio thing that I showed you well, in the car, how he was already in mass, around regular people, helping people, um, edu you know, educate this. Like, anyway, doing what exactly what Young Pharaoh does. So, anyway, it's too many coincidences. I said, damn, cat, That's crazy. I said, yeah. They'll leave you alone when you start looking crazy for real. They'll leave you alone. So I'm just chilling for right now, linking up with all the per the people that I need to link up with. Okay, like so Nick Cannon, when you was on that show, Young Pharaoh. Okay, yeah, so I showed you that because at the end of the day, um, he is basically saying exactly what I told you guys. He's going over that skit that I showed you on my clip of him fighting that little boy and how scripted that was. But the fact that he, that Daylight is sitting here trying to say... That it was um, Cat Williams just randomly went to this park and then just started a fight with a boy so he could look crazy. Really? It was super staged. It was so, it was no, nothing random about it. He walked over to the scene to the brick wall. He sat down, threw up a bathroom inside, and you're telling me that he randomly did this? This is some random random stuff going on? That whole video I showed you was scripted. They, it was people in it that was putting one eye in the video, all that. Then they did a fight and it was going off scene. And like, you know how like they had the camera, you could have kept the camera clear as day, just like how you did when it was time for him to put that bathroom in sign up, when it was time for him to go to that brick wall. What was, how do you know it was a brick wall to even walk to? Why would you throw up like, come on, that, this is the, this is how you could, this is why I'm trying to help you, I'm trying to help whoever needs help. Daylight is a part of it. Like, he is not giving you no truth. He's literally trying to convince you, which he shouldn't be because it's not accurate information. It's like that's infiltrating that Cat Williams randomly went to start trouble to act like he was crazy to be left alone so he could go do, do other things. How? Do other things like what? If Cat Williams is, if you're trying to portray crazy to be off the radar, what other things would you be able to do as Cat Williams? Because he wasn't planning on doing anything as Cat Williams. He was going crazy to be off the radar so he could go on to play another role and link with the people he needs. Like, what the? Where are you at? Where, what, what's, where are you going wrong at? Where am I going wrong at? Because you guys got a lot of stuff to say in the comments that's negative. And a lot of that stuff don't make my comment section. I wish YouTube would let it on so you can see how ridiculous some people sound when they over here contradicting themselves all day and just proving my information right. 100%. We're to the point where I can start saying facts. But I'm not even going to say facts. I'm going to keep it cute for you to and be like allegedly and sister, cousin, brothers, twins. You know, but I think it's the same person. But anyway, that that's just to show you that. Daylight is telling you that Cat Williams is saying that this is all him randomly popping up. But yet that whole scene was super staged and, and scripted. So somebody's lying here. Somebody's lying, Okay. Now he's talking about Dave Chappelle, like, oh, look how they did Dave Chappelle. But I just wanted you to see him in this tight little shirt, looking just like Young Pharaoh, bro. That, that's all I wanted you guys to see. This video, he looked, oh my God, he's sitting up like Young Pharaoh. Look how Young Pharaoh be sitting in his chair. If y'all not peeping this, y'all just idiots. Mannerisms are there. Look how he's talking. Look at his, look at his physique. Look at his face. Look at him. Just put some dreads on his head. Look at this man. Look how he's talking. Look how he's sitting in his chair. Look how he talks. Oh, you don't see, you don't see it. You don't see the the, the, the resemblance, the mannerisms, the way he's sitting in his chair, the way he's talking, the way how. Look at the chains. Look at his chains. That video, I really don't care about no Dave Chappelle. He was talking about Dave Chappelle. I'm telling you, look at him in this video. Twins, twins. Gotta be same brothers. They gotta be brothers. They gotta be first cousins.
They have to be related to be this on point with each other. They have to be related. They have to be related. You know what? I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do another video on Cat Williams and I'm going to leave it alone after that. I said I was going to leave them alone. Look how he talks. Look at I'm gonna do the, I didn't do the double videos on them before. I just did like the pictures. But we're going to do the videos on them. We're going to do the videos on them. We're going to do those videos on them. So y'all can shut up. We're saying, oh, you're like as if I'm a little off. No, I'm not. I'm nowhere near off. I'm nowhere near off. No, we knew. The fact that a devout Muslim who doesn't eat bacon was a Jew. Look how he's talking in his chair. Look how he sits up straight, goes forward. Look at that. Most of y'all know who he is in the comments. You telling me he did, uh, Cat Williams just was talking like a smile smirk the same way? Like, oh, man. Like, like, like a sarcastic kind of talk. Pay attention, man. I'm tired of helping you guys out. Look how he's like, yeah, like little smirky. That's Okeechobee and Oakland. Is that not the same mannerisms? Listen, y'all, if y'all, most of y'all know who he said he is in the comments, you can see. But just, just, uh. Okay, go away then. Go away then. Y'all be, y'all, y'all be mad. Y'all be mad over nothing. Okay, I just want you guys that this is supposed to be Marilyn Manson around somebody's kid. And look how look at this kid. If you if I could tell you know how they be like Orlando Brown is on drugs and this and that. Orlando Brown eyes be so clear, crystal clear that I don't even think he takes a drink of liquor. I don't even think he smokes a cigarette. He probably get high here and there. Probably smoke some weed here and there. But Orlando Brown ain't on no hard drugs. I could tell when somebody's on hard drugs. I done did plenty. I done, I done a lot in my life to know what the fuck shit look like. I, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I don't know what nothing looks like. I know exactly what everything looks like, okay? I haven't done everything, but look, if you done E or something like that, it's damn near the same thing as doing other stuff. It's just a, a different way of intaking it that probably affects you differently. Like shooting it, going straight to the veins will affect you differently than you taking a pill. Or if you snorting something straight to the brain, it's going to affect you differently. You understand what I'm trying to say? But it's still a hard, the same substance of the hard drug. You're just intaking it differently. So it may not be as potent as it would be if you sniffed it or shot it. But if you're swallowing a pill or you're drinking some goddamn lean, it's the same kind of drug. Okay? It's a hard drug. It's going to have you all out your mind. This little kid is on drugs. Look at his eyes. Eyes is red. Shot. He ain't high. This ain't how you look high. This boy is out of it. He's on hard drugs. They got this little kid on drugs. They got him with lipstick on, and they're gonna be telling him to not put lipstick on your teeth. And he's gonna be, he's gonna actually tell him, I shouldn't. Need, you could tell he, but he said it so hesitantly because he probably didn't want to get choked. He's like, I shouldn't be having lipstick on. This is what he going to. This is what they doing to these kids. Watch. This is Marilyn Manson's girlfriend's son. <laughs> Look at him. He's like gonna be his new daddy. He knew he meant like daddy like sexual, not like kitty. Yeah, make sure you're not like fun. Like right. Really creepy stuff here, right? Okay, and this is somebody's page. I'm, I, I, I would like to shout him out, but I don't remember the name of his page. I think I go you can see it in the picture, hopefully. If if you can see his name, you can follow him. Good page. If you look in the corner, that's the page. Shout out to this guy and this little bit of footage that I stole from his page. It's just a page I recently saw. So I don't, you see the name here. I don't really know it by heart. Um, and his name is uh, Pocket of the Future. Um, cool page. It's not really nothing that he's like, you know, he's going over a lot of things, little comments and stuff. Nothing like, sometimes I feel like he... He doesn't go really hard on one side, which he should be. He kind of gives, he's like sarcastic in the air with it, but it's still a good page, still good information. Look at his face, look at his kid's face. Like, me and my daddy. Like, and it didn't sound like daddy, like, father. 
sound like daddy like daddy. Yeah, make sure you don't get a book signing your teeth. That's like a chick thing. They know how to deal with it. Right. You're too young and they know how to like carry So he's telling him, watch out with getting lipstick on your teeth. And he's like, they're all manipulating him. The girl was saying she was jealous of how he looked. You know, these are grown, old ass adults. Or he's surrounded by a bunch of adults in the background. It's the only kid there when they got him in red lipstick telling him not to smudge it on his teeth because you don't you're not old enough to know how to get it off. And the little boy was like mad confused and like the guy said, super weird shit. And I didn't have in a clip where the boy said that he shouldn't have it on, but I should have got it in there. Sorry about that. But he said it so hesitantly, like, oh, I shouldn't have said that, you know? And then he kind of said it very low and stopped really fast. Like, where he was like, oh, well, I shouldn't even have this to go on. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to be his daddy. And you saw his face? He like, because you could tell it wasn't, he wasn't saying daddy like father. He was saying daddy like big daddy, like zaddy, you know, like with the Z, like dad, like you're going to be his daddy. And he knew it. Cause they bothering this boy. Look, he got he already know what's up with the lipstick on his mouth without him, you know, without him rubbing it off like ew. You know, he he's a, he's already immune to it. And you saw his eyes. He's on stuff. They got this boy on things. Really creepy stuff here, right? You see? He did. I did catch it. He said, "Well, I'm not supposed to." Then he stopped. And so. Um, okay. Okay. This is what they doing to these children. So when I said that about T.I. daughter, when I said that about T.I. daughter, about the, 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 the crook in the neck and her drinking juice, when I said that it was some weird type of more sexual to it, because that's how they're treating these children. And he's even telling them, oh, you're too young. Like, so what's that, what you doing with him then? What, what's going on? But yet, does that, that, that stop him? Does that stop them? No. They like, yeah, go smudge to the, oh, I'm so jealous than the weird lady, some grown woman that, you know, is telling this little boy, like, oh, I'm jealous. They're trying to manipulate and make him seem like, oh, it's okay to have it on, you know? Disgusting. And the kid still was uncomfortable, still making faces like, you know? And then he was like, oh, I'm not supposed to. But then he stopped. Because these people, they're training them young, and they, they, they got no choice. It's, this is what you're going to be doing. This is the life you're living. This is what you're, you're, you were born in. So, um, yeah, let's get on to this. Let's get on to this. Everybody's talking about this, right? So, they're, yeah, they're like uh, proof that he's gay. Now, mind you, this isn't the one that was in the headlines, but I just want to show you something that he said. Who's your favorite model in the game right now? Okay, can't have that music playing. Yeah, I'm my favorite model in the game right now. Can't have that music playing, man. So basically, so I'm gonna have to dictate it. So he told him at the very beginning, uh, what's your favorite model? He said, um, female. And then he said, yeah, female. So basically, they're like, bruh, what you mean, female? Like, yeah, female. Like, we won't want to tell you a man. You're not gay, right? Why would we say? What's the best model in the game? We're talking about men. Why would he even think that? He automatically was like, what, female? Because uh, I like both. You know, that's the way he felt. You know, no one's even... So, yeah, that was, you know, that it is what it is, right? So, that's not what he's in the headlines for. He's in the headlines for um a sex tape, okay? Yeah. And I told you these people are sex slaves, okay? And did you see the tape? They have on media takeout if you click on... Um, a Twitter link, and then click on that. Press play on that link. You will see the tape that they're talking about, and everyone's talking about the size. Now, what did I say about that? What did I say about these things that they keep protruding, acting like it's real? It's thindos. They're they're getting it done because they're sex slaves. The girl, whoever he was doing something with, sex slave. They're all performing probably in front of people. Weird scenarios going on here, okay? Weird scenarios going on. So, to confirm what I was saying about the extendos that they're they're putting this, they're getting um, certain people extendos, you know, to make it look like how it looks. Dr. Miami tweeted, oh, stop tweeting me. I can't give you the Trey songs or something like that. So people, why would Dr. Miami, why would they put that in so shape the shaver? Why would they even promote that? Saying that Dr. Miami says, stop hitting me up for the Trey song special. Because they know that this is being put on them by the doctors. It's not natural. None of that, did it look natural to you? It looked like a dildo, if you ask me. It didn't even look like a real thing. It was just 
too weird. It was very wide. And it was just, a, trust me, it, it, I know what I'm talking about. They're giving these people extendos, just sex slaves. They're giving them this for a reason, for the pleasures of what they have to do on when things that we really can't see but obviously they're showing us some things but you know we don't really get to see the down and dirtiness of how being a sex slave per pertains um but yeah that's that's where it's coming from and and i took I, i'm going over these things because this is stuff that i said already this video is about stuff that i said already and it's obvious that i'm on to something where did i go wrong what i say what i do i'm 100 percent fact on what I be saying, but I cannot say that. So I have to always say allegedly or this and that, but it shows and proves later on that I was right on the right track of what I was saying about these people, okay? not. <laughs> and then here goes, uh, it's, it pains me to say, it pains me to say, but she's 100% a part of the game, okay? Now it just strikes, it's just strike to me that I said, dag, this hairstyle that she was known for that everybody was like, oh, wow. Remember, like, they did, like, a little movie of her. And she was like, oh, I just came up with this hairstyle out of nowhere. It just striked to me that this is just a, her doing the one eye symbol. So this this famous hairstyle that she was known for was really symbolism. Can imagine that. This is really was just all symbolism. She didn't create none of this. They told her this was a part of her gimmick. They made her do this so she could have this one eye symbolism here known for this hairstyle and this hairstyle was always a symbolism of her being a part of what she's a part of so it's there to show you that most likely she's not gone she just moved on to another character okay just wanted to show you I'm just randomly going through things now I already touched a lot of the things that I wanted to touch so I'm just going to randomly go through things and then I'm going to end it with another YouTuber and then I'll be gone. So let me just hurry up because it's going past an hour. And I know that, um, you know, it's getting a little bit long. And I don't like to have my videos that long. But, you know, it is what it is. I try to go through all the stuff I can get through. So I don't have to come back every other week with, like, stuff. So I gather a lot of things. And then I just do my little rant. Um, yeah, who this look like? Who that look like? This is Marvin Gaye. Who he looks like? Take a guess. And be a young boy. And be a young boy. Is that his father? Are they related? He had a whole scandal about being killed by his father because the father was jealous of him. A, a biblical story. You know the biblical story if you ever took Psych 101 about like the mother had this. I, I don't know the name of it where the mother had the son and then the father got jealous of the son and the son was jealous of the father. It, it, it's another biblical story. He probably never got killed by his father. It's, it's all a fake story of the father being jealous of him. Shoots him dead. Is he really dead? Is this NBA young boy or is this the father of NBA young boy or is NBA young boy a descendant of the line of the incubator babies? Is this the same? You know, because like I said, if they're not the same people, then they have to be somewhat first cousins related, okay? Which means that they're incubator babies. That means they're creating these people under certain DNAs. They probably have like a hundred and something strands. Who knows the, the symbolism of how many DNA strands they have? But trust me, they're making these and this is why they're coming out looking just alike, which will make them first cousins and, and for brothers, like I said, or same person. Um, and it's still a scam. Because we people like me think, oh, I want to be something. I'm going to put my money into getting a, a portfolio. I'm going to put my money into the studio. I'm going to put my money into this. And then I will never get to where they are. Because this is scripted for them. And then they just snatch our money up and chew us up and spit us out. Barely getting anywhere in the game. Or we can't level up because we don't know the rules of what you got to do. And they train these people so they don't have to know the rules. They know that this is something that they're, they're, these are the footsteps they have to follow. Okay? They grow up They grow up in little neighborhoods and things like that. All right. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you quickly uh, my picture. Uh, okay, yeah. This is a lot. Um, yeah, so uh, Jada Kiss, he was over here saying that he's going to be on a bus. Him and numerous people want to be on a bus telling us to wear masks. Cancel all of these people. None of these people are real. They're not. They're not a band. I've met him in real life. I'm, I'll probably do a video of all the celebrities I've hung around and know and knew 
you know, got pictures and stuff showing that, like, it's not like I don't know people, I haven't been around, it's not like I just took a picture, I actually, you know, have uh, been around these people, but anyway, yeah, cancel them, okay, to my, he's gonna be on a damn bus, telling us to wear a mask, him, Rosie Perez and them, they're disgusting, they're influencing you to do things, and, and they know they're not right, and they go ahead and do it anyway, shout out to this commenter, okay, he took a screenshot of Ocho Cinco putting honey buns up with a biscuit. Mind you, I think the honey buns is like a butt, right? And it's them gla a glazed butt, right? Let's, let's think about it, okay? The honey buns is a symbolism of a glazed butt. And what, what you think the glaze is on them honey on them buns to make it honey? What you think the glaze is? So the fact that he put a biscuit there is weird, you know? Because a woman would just have butt, it wouldn't be nothing hanging down. But yet, I feel like the and biscuits don't even go with honey buns. So I feel like this is a symbolism of some nuts hanging down. Okay? They are all faggotitos. Okay? Super gay. Promoting super gay stuff. Honey glazed butts with a biscuit. Some, some things hanging down. Okay? Thanks. Shout out to that, to that commenter for adding on the honey bun style. Because like I said, it's cold. It's cold for them um, going into the anal. Because them going into the anal, up to the spinal cord, to the the, the nervous system of uh, how we communicate to the brain, to the body, it, it means something to them. They like to, to sodomize people, okay? I'm sorry, I got to keep going back and forth because this thing keeps falling out. out. All right? We're going gonna, we're gonna to skim through the rest of it. It's a couple more things. I like 20 more minutes, maybe. Try to make it shorter than that. Okay. We're going to talk about this weirdo. Conservatives leak a picture of the secretary of uh, whatever as a little girl. Are you kidding me? It's not even like he's dressed like a woman. He's dressed like a little girl. There's nothing okay about this. There's nothing okay about that. There's nothing okay about a grown man dressed like a little girl, you pervert. There's nothing okay about that. You sicko. That's sick. No one could say, oh, don't do that to her. No one could say that about this. You could be a man and be a woman all you want. I don't care. But a little girl, grown ass man being a little girl, you nasty. You nasty. No one should be okay with this. Nasty. All right? And, but you know who's okay with it? Joe Biden. He's going to go on. And if you want to read all of this, whatever, but I will shorten it. He's going to go on to say that he has what it takes to do the job he does, regardless of what he He's doing. You piece of crap. Joe Biden is going to okay that? No one should be okay in this. No one. I don't care what he's capable of doing. That's super perverish. Screenshot it, read whatever he even want to say, but he gave it a thumbs up. Disgusting. This is me. I'm lit. This is for my birthday. Just want you guys to see how easy it is to put on some tattoos. Very detailed tattoos, right? Very detailed. Took two seconds. I, t I took the plastic off, I put it on my arm, and my back, wet the towel, wet this, took it right off. Look how it came out. This is why I tell you that these are fake tattoos because they come out very dark. If you can see right here, this is a real tattoo on this little star. It's a real tattoo and it's way lighter than these dark ones. So that's why I try to explain to you guys that I have real tattoos, but the fake ones look very dark in detail. And that's how you can tell they're fake. What the hell? All right? Sorry about that. So I, I'm showing you that. And here go uh, another uh, one where I had it on my neck as well. This is just for my birthday. I just wanted to do like a, it was like a three, six theme. I wanted to be like badass and all this other stuff. I was doing like a lot of things. I like themes. I like theme parties and things like that. Themes are my thing. I like to dress up and do things. So this theme was uh, supposed to be badass swimming girl. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, look how vivid these tattoos are. Literally the same day. Literally the same day. All of it gone. Gone. Look at the arm. Look at the neck. Look at the back. Mind you, this is the same day. I changed my hairstyle. I changed everything. I changed my hairstyle. I changed everything. Same day. I'm just trying to show you how it's easy to play different roles if you wanted to. Same day. I could be a biker chick with long hair. And in the next, and in the same fucking couple of hours, I took all the tattoos off, changed my hairstyle, changed the wig, and I'm over here being like a schoolgirl. 
It went from badass to, to frilly within hours. Okay? So stop acting like these people can't do whatever they want to do within uh, the same day. Or what Ari could do one thing and then she'll be back as tiny the same. Like, stop. It's easy. I, I'm a one person. I'm one person. I just myself. They have a whole crew helping them. Okay? Very easy to do. Very easy to play multiple roles and look like different people who change hairs, change tattoos, change out, change things out. It's very easy. And I'm showing you that this isn't a coincidence. Look at the star point on the money. Look at the star point on the money. The Baphomet star point. It spells out Mason. It spells out Mason on your money. They're not playing. This ain't a joke. This ain't a joke, man. It's not, it's not, it's not a game. Like this, this is real, real groups that's really putting out a lot of stuff. Now, here we go with this lady. Supposed to be an impersonator of... In less than six months. TikTok says that that I was posing as another person in a confusing manner. My name is Connie Pena. I'm a Latin artist, singer, dancer, official Jennifer Lopez tribute artist, look-alike. Now, I did this because are you stupid? This is Jennifer Lopez. They, they, they're just trying to throw you guys off like... Oh, people could look, sound, and, and be just alike if she's an impersonator and have a daughter that looks just like her daughter. Don't be silly, people. This is her. This is Jennifer Lopez. I mean, she sounds exactly like Jennifer Lopez. Don't be silly. Double. I have been in over 300 publications around the world. I have done numerous amount of media. If you can't tell that that's Jennifer Lopez. If you can't tell that that's Jennifer Lopez and it sounds like Jennifer Lopez and it looks like Jennifer Lopez because it is Jennifer Lopez allegedly, then you guys are lost. They're trying to beat you. They're trying to confuse you to be like, oh, no, people do look alike. People do sound alike. No, they don't. That's her. That's her. They're, she's just helping to confuse you. Jennifer Lopez had to play a role of Connie, the fake Latin impersonator, to confuse you. To be like, oh, all these videos that they're putting out, these are people where they're trying to save face. Because the, if you have seen on CNN, they have been talking about all the Q, the QAnon. That's how you know QAnon is a brand, brand, brand. That's how you know QAnon is 100% a part of the Mason Freemasons. They are not anything to be um, looking forward to to help. They, if Trump comes back and do whatever QAnon says, it was all scripted. It was all a part of what they're doing period to to reset to do a great reset they've been saying they're going to do a great reset i guess it's the process of it um it's to it's to not confuse everybody they have to do all these performances these these theory i could these theory i could to you know what i'm trying to say performances even if it's in politics trust me that it's everyone everyone is a part of these scripts we don't, the regular people that go to work is the only people that is left out in the loop if you pay attention you don't have to be left out in the loop you can understand that this is all scripted this is all a part of the agenda is to push people this way and that way without pushback, okay? From the real people that go to work. They don't want pushback. So they plant all these things and they be like, oh, well, you know, this happened because that happened. Stop being that stupid. That didn't happen because that happened. That happened because it was going to happen anyway. And they put a performance on for you to be saying, oh, well, that's why I happened. The, the performance said so. Anyway, getting on the Q&A, we're going we're gonna to end it off with this MREC and Amina. I did not want to talk about them, but yes, I, I did do a video on them and they have put out more stuff to confirm that I was not wrong about saying that they are the culprits as well. YouTubers like Young Pharaoh and Amina and um, MREC, they don't come out of nowhere with big platforms for no reason. They are a part of groups. Uh, even Amina already tell you that she's a part of a group. She's like a five percenter and she does things and blah, blah, blah. And somebody told me to check a video out of her and see her in person. Because with all the videos she do, she can't put nothing on her face for nothing. She always giving you like a piece of her eye or her head and showing you a bunch of pictures that don't even look alike. All her pictures don't. Now, ever since I said she like Mary J. Blige, she's been throwing out pictures that don't look like Mary J. Blige now. It looks more like uh, the lady from, um, you know, Waka Flocka, Mother Big Dead. And she's been shouting Deb out. So I'm like, what, what is she, dead now? Did they switch Mary J. Blige out then put Deb there? Um, yeah, but now she's putting out pictures where she looks like Deb. You know, she don't look like Mary no more because I have caught in her. They, they, they made it hot. And she's putting out all kinds of different pictures look like different people every time she puts a picture up. I can't make it up. I'm like, what kind of pictures is this? Then she won't just show yourself. 
Please, you, you're on here so much and you're showing a piece of your scalp and stuff. You, 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 she won't show herself for nothing. She'll show you a bunch of videos and clips and it's like, we don't trust that. We don't trust it. All right? So she's hot. I made it hot for her. Anyway, this is proof that uh, they they up to no good as well. The queuing on, uh, yeah, yeah, and this is why I got my cash app up here, my um, Instagram, and my TikTok. At the end of my shows, I'm going to go put it up close so it could be evident for whoever wants to follow me, support me, or whatever. You could do so with one of these options. Because if you're going to be sitting here sending that many super chats and support to Amina and MREP when they come up, they wait for 20, 30 minutes before they even start the show. And then through the 20, 30 minutes, they promote their they Vimo and their Cash App. But they say, oh, well, you don't have to give nothing. But they promote it for 20 minutes and they know we're going to move along with the show until they're satisfied with whatever they think they're going to get. And then they move this on with the show. And then the show doesn't even continue on. It goes off to Instagram and Stuff where you don't even so it's like what did y'all even give them cash apps and super chats for if y'all wasting throwing money away like that here's my info okay because i'm giving y'all real information and real uh decoding of what i feel like is going on because they're not going to give you this this information they're just going to put a lot of manipulation stuff that you guys probably can't really see and understand so if i'm up here doing that but y'all can sit there and think that she's decoding QAnon. And you're paying her for QAnon quotes that you could go to bitch you and uh, that the the, 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 the QAnon uh, page and just get it off of there. She's just literally taking the same information from there and giving it to you guys. Not because she's not giving you no special information. She's literally taking the same info and she handed it over to you guys. Like I can't type in bitch you or or QAnon Matt and look at the same information that she's pre presenting to you guys. Yeah. The super chats and the stuff be flying. Y'all just be, here, 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 take it. Take all my money. All right, well, support me. There you go. And, and I'm not talking to, if you don't have it, fine, whatever. But you know what? I'm not going to not take any support if you guys are just going to be supporting Amina and them for giving you, taking cue drops and just presenting it to you directly. Like you can't go into your your your, your web browser and put it Q and on that and just read it yourself. If you can't read, then fine. Pay her for her reading it for you. But, at, and I say that to say this, the QAnon, um, CNN was talking about the QAnon, so you know QAnon ain't crap. You know it ain't nothing. So she's giving you a bunch of false information because CNN is approaching it like, oh, with the QAnon and this person is saying this with QAnon. They, they are, they, CNN is addressing it because it's a part of the, the move. They call it, a, she's calling it a movie because you know what a movie is? It's a scripted fake fictional, even that movies is based off of real content even if the movie is based off of a uh um what do they call it when it's like a based off a real story it's still fictional parts in it the movie is never 100 percent factual so they're calling this stuff as a oh watch this movie this is a movie this is a movie it is a movie it's a fictional stupid ass play that's being played out with trump and all of them everybody's a part of it and including you amina and everybody else that's pushing that q and on stuff that's why cnn is able to approach it and say it out loud like oh we're not scared to say anything about q and on because it's not true and they're, they're absolutely right but one thing cnn ain't going to present to you one thing cnn and, and all these other channels ain't going to ever say is that they're wearing face masks Adding on fucking, adding on face shoot, um things, playing multiple roles. They're never going to say that. Because they don't, that's reality for your ass. And they don't want that out. They don't want that a part of the truth. They're not going to give you that information and say, oh, people are accusing some of these people of fake deafening. And that they actually still a lot. Tupac is actually, they're not going to give you that information, but they can talk about QAnon on day on CNN. So how real you think QAnon is? How truthful you think these stories from QAnon is with the military? And it's two military, one military here, another military. First of all, who is allowed? Why would Trump even be acting like, oh, if they were all locked up? And then why would he even still be playing along with it to be like, oh. And they're like, oh, no, you got to let the movie play out. How weird is that? How weird is it to be play a movie out to know that people are dead or in jail? And they're going, following through a whole organ, organ, organ. Auguration. Oh, I know y'all probably like, oh, she can't talk. So, uh, the auguration, inauguration. He's going to watch a whole, they're going to follow through a whole inauguration. 
they did a whole production. It was like fire, it, CGI fireworks. There was nothing, nothing. And that's it was like a yeah, that was a movie for real. That inter, that inauguration was a super movie. Like it was like what? It was like scene, cut the scene, cut the scene. You know, I was like none of this stuff looked like it's really happening. It was weird. The fireworks and all that looked like fake, like it was like part of like a movie script. Like she said, it didn't look like it happened that day. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm like, who, who, will, who would just continue that on? Like, oh, it has to play out. What, what is playing out? Stop playing it. Stop playing. Be like, yo, this is stupid. And Trump should be, you know, should be saying, but they, you know, they are all part of the movie. Let them watch that stupid movie. It's boring. I'm usually fall asleep on movies. You should fall asleep on that, okay? Let me show you how the, these people are infiltrating, infiltrators as well. Okay. They put up the cash apps. Now look at this. Look at that. You saw that? Did you see that? Okay. See these throwing up? See we got up? What, what is the point of him putting this at the end of his show? Who would throw this up? Who would throw the two threes up? Who, who would do this? And, and, and it, Amina stems off of his show. She stems off of his show. As she say, it's always the platform of them. And this is what he's representing. Because we all know who he really is. Okay? Which I, I believe he's fabulous. Allegedly. Okay? Now let's go on to Amina. So now she's sitting here saying people got face masks on. That Megyn Kelly is playing Nicole Brown that's allegedly dead. Death, death, which is, she's insinuating Nicole Brown's a death faker. When was she ever promoting stuff like this? But after I started accusing her of being Mary J. Blige. These people think they slick. She never had any drops like this saying people were death fakers and this and that. Then on top of that, you'll sit there and act like it's okay for JFK to be a death faker. It's not okay for nobody to be a death faker, but when it comes to JFK, it's all right for him to pretend he was dead for 20, 30 years, him and his son, and to come back and be the president of the new Jamachira, the Katsara the Dora Zazara. Like, whatever that is. Like, it sounds like Cardi B's last name. Like, Hazuna Kazam. These, these, these magicians are hilarious. Excuse me. Oof, this is getting late. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going to tear her up a little bit because uh, I didn't like what she was saying recently. And I'm going to show you what she was saying. Oh my god, the video is gone. That sucks. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to show you that then. Uh, I could try to look for it on YouTube and show you what she was saying. Let me see. This is what made me do another video on her, chew her up, because it's not right that she was trying to make fun of people that don't have that many followers. Like she was going on, like, oh, I got 12,000 followers here to yo 600. Ye bong, whatever, bang. Uh, you ain't got nothing, da 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 da. I was like, ain't that a little bullyish? Because first of all, you would have never had that many followers if you wouldn't have stemmed off of MREX already established page, honey. You didn't come from scratch and got 10,000 or 12,000 followers on your own, honey. All right? You stemmed off of MREX already established page and then brought your content onto his page and took his followers and, and presented your infiltration. Just like Young Pharaoh. He did not stem off of, I know you're like, oh, well, he, we saw him come a long way from what? He started a page off of uh, the Sandra Bland situation. And I know y'all probably like, oh, this is old, this is old, but that's a following. She had, a, it was the biggest story that was presented and you know it's a psyop now but it was a big story and if you're gonna have a page if i had a page that said uh free thousand dollars to everybody that signed up and then everybody signed up and then next thing you know my page is about conspiracies my page my all those followers came for the thousand dollar winnings it didn't come from my conspiracy information you can't get a whole bunch of followers from being a sandra bland activist and then turning that page with all those sandra bland activist followers into now Oh, listen to me and my my genius 
book reading, ideology decoding page. Like that's that's not right. That you didn't if you started it from jump like that with no Sandra Bland um stunts, no stunts, no gimmicks. Then okay, we saw you uh, uh, level up, but you were handed that Sandra Bland gimmick because you are a part of a cult. Anybody that knows, uh, Young Pharaoh has said that he went to the law lab library and beat his own case. We, if you, if you, if you ever hear somebody say that, know they're a hundred percent agent. Okay, you're not going to no law library beating no case on your own. Good luck to you if you think you're going to sit your jail ass in jail in the law library thinking you're going to beat your case. Usually people that say that, they have somebody already in there like, oh, no, somebody's helping me. And usually that person's probably an agent. I don't know who that person is, but these people are agents. That's the same thing a Phoenix Shakur sister did. That's the same thing a Phoenix Shakur did. They had all these cases and they beat it themselves. They beat the thing beat on their own. Young Pharaoh is using scripts passed down. He, as well, was able to beat his own case going to the law library. That is a symbolism of agent, okay? Let's let's stop being so freaking naive. You don't know nobody personally that beat their own case from going into the law library. You don't know. You do not know nobody personally. If that person ever told you something like that, they had somebody that was already in the law library saying they could help them with the case, then you need to question that person that's helping them. But that person did not on their own go to the law library and beat their own case by reading up on books and going into the court as their own lawyer to be the case if they were not already a part of the system. They are agents, they are a part of the system. He is probably a force. He, oh, young Pharaoh always brings up foster children. Ch ch the, the, ch it's always something about children at the end. These, I mean, it's always about the children. These people do not care about the children. It is another code. It is another code, man. These people are coming from, for, that's where most of these people come from is the foster homes because most of these people don't have homes to be in and they try to place as many kids as they can with these families in the, the industry and stuff. And like Wendy Williams' mother said, oh, she was sent to me or Kelly Rowland them all coming up with kids that don't look nothing like them. It's like that when kid was placed there. Like, and they can't place them everywhere. So they have them in foster homes and stuff like that. And they do, you got to understand that foster kids are a part, is government property. Okay. Not all foster kids. I'm talking about the compromise. It's like it's, it's the world is so big. Don't think that I'm talking about every single foster care, every single foster child. But know that majority of these people are a part of something. They get trained to be things. Things they they come out in the world a part of the government because they were already government property. Just like if you was part of the army or military, you are now government property. Same thing as foster children when they grow up in the system. And they always present you that same information. So know that that is symbolism, okay? I'm tired of trying to decode things for you guys. They are 100% compromised by saying the stuff that they say. So I wanted to show you how Amina was popping crap about not having enough followers. I thought that was so disgusting. Because I'm like, girl, you didn't even make your own following. The video that that lady told me to watch of Amina, I watched it. It was an actual person, looked like it was her. That looked so face masky. I was like, that did not help her, sis. And then the following was so small. The guy didn't have much views on that 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 video. So that's probably why she was showing her face. She, she know better than to go on a big platform like MREC, showing that face mask look, showing that face that she showed on that video you told me to look at. And think that she's going to get away with no one telling her, oh, that look like a face. She looks like something don't look right with her face. And I'm not talking about ugly. I don't care if somebody's ugly or not or good looking or not. Face mask -y. Face mask. That got nothing to do with looks. That, that her face looked the mask soggy and weird. So that's why she does not present herself like that on a bigger platform. That, that video she did with her face had very low views. She probably knew... She probably didn't know she was going to go on to bigger platforms and this and that because they all infiltrate no matter what, even if it's small crowds. You know, they got to perform. They got to they gotta get good at their craft. But when she came to that big platform, she don't show that face. She don't show that masky looking face. She show you a bunch of pictures. 
Pictures don't even be looking like one picture she be looking mad skinny, another picture she look mad thick, one picture she look fat, one picture she don't look fat. Next picture she look like she has a certain kind of round face. Next picture she look like she look like Mary J. Blige. Other picture she look like she has. Anyway, I could go on and on about that. But the fact that she thought she was making fun of somebody that didn't have that many followers, so what? So what? You you didn't even start off on your own and build your own. And even if she did, she still probably would have a following. Because when you are with those cute communities and these military patriots, oh, my patriot, and this and that, they're going to have, they're going to make sure you get a following. All them super chats and stuff is probably fake super chats and stuff from the compromise, compromise people. Because they keep telling them not to send no super chats. They keep saying, oh, I don't make no money off some super chats. Send it directly. And they just keep sending the super chats. Because they're feeding the, the fake crowd that you got watching your stuff is feeding the fake YouTube, silly. That's why they keep feeding the Super Chats. Because it's all compromised, y'all. All compromised. But anyway, if you haven't seen this, I'm going to wrap it up now. If you haven't seen this show on, um, on I believe this is Netflix, it's 3%. You should check it out. It's like Spanish, but it's very um, intuitive of how these people are moving. Where they are just taking 3% of the population to have them live good, live this, this, and that. And it, this is the direction that they're trying to go in with uh, putting people out of work, putting people or, or, um, out of houses, putting people out of their out of their neighborhoods and gentrifying because they're trying to segregate a 3% to live a certain way and have the rest of us looking dirty. And if you can make it in here, make it in here. And, and you don't want to make it in 3% because, like I said, they're, they're sex slaves. They do all kinds of stuff. Now, I want to show you this clip that I saw on um, YouTube about the, the monkeys. Now, you heard what he said, that they got these, these monkeys off to work. I told you that they are workers. They make people work. These monkeys are just another... Another uh, version of these celebrities. Who makes her wear a doll's mask, targets the areas with the worst traffic jams, and then waits for passing motorists to give money. There's little reward for effort in this business. So far, only a mandarin. Now you see how he got that monkey working and he has a face mask on? Don't think for one second that that's for, that's for no reason. They are wearing, these entertainers are wearing face masks and they have to go off to work. That's my point of that video. Look how they train them. Look how they treat them. He pissed off. Look at him, look at locked up. He look like, what the hell? That's when, when you see them celebrities go to jail. When you see them celebrities go to jail or they're um, off to like whatever, they train them just like that. They're in a hard training. So they can continue to wear their face mask and entertain while they're off to work every day to make money for their handler. Okay? Okay? That's all I have for you guys today. Like, share, and subscribe. Please. Please. If you don't, if anything you do, if you don't support, if you don't follow, if you don't like what I say, or, or, or you, anything, but if what you could do, what, you, what, what favor you could do for me, which is free, is cancel these people. You have to start unfollowing them. Follow the shade room. If you feel like, oh, I don't, I, I, I will stay out the loop. I don't get to know nothing. Follow the shade room. Shade room put all the same thing that these people post. They, they'll be posting it before them. I see so many times they'll post a picture of something. They're like, dad, this person just put that up. Follow the shade room like I do. I don't miss nothing. Because they, the shade room is, uh, and then I, I think I pointed that out. That they are 21 point something like in the equal 666. So they, the shade room is super compromised. They're going to push out everything. Every comment on the shade room is fake. I went through so many comments and they're all the same comment. Like, I'm like, how many people think this way? It's super fake. No, I, I wanted to put my own comment up. Then I, it's not going to reach the masses. My comment is only going to reach the people that follow me. They, it's not, they're not there. They are, they are just like with YouTube. They're not putting up our comments. They're on, we're only seeing comments that they're putting up. It's thousands and thousands of fake comments on the shade room. You go to Hot 97, it's like 90 comments on their page. 
because it's not as compromised in 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 made deals like the shade room did. So if you want to stay in a loop with these nasty celebrities without following, follow the shade room, but start unfollowing these celebrities and have them on zero. And I put money on it. Even if you unfollow them, they still be on a million followers because they these are fake numbers and these fake these people are gonna push them regardless. You're gonna be like that. Everybody unfollow them is still saying million. Because it's fake numbers. It's fake everything. They're, they're, they're super illusion in you guys. They, you see them have 6 million followers, and you're going to think, oh, well, I want to follow them. That's the whole point of putting that many followers on them. So uh, what you can do is just, uh, even if they're going to have a million followers, as long as you know you're not following them, and you cancel them, you're not watching their stupid shows, you're not entertaining them anymore, fine. I know you want to watch some stuff. Fine, watch some stuff. But try to start lowering things down of what you watch, what you don't need. Like, oh, I don't need to watch Real Housewives. I watched them for five, six years, seven, eight years now. I don't know how long they've been, 13. They've probably been up there forever. We don't need to watch them no more. We already know what they're going to say, who they're going to argue. We already know what their moves are going to be. You could cancel that. Um, you could cancel a lot of stuff. Some new reality shows that just come out, like Love and Lock Up. I ain't going to lie. I watched that a little bit because it's new puppets. At least it's new material fake stuff. You know what I'm saying? I try to not watch none of it. But please stop watching all the stuff that's been up there forever because it's going to be the same regurgitated fake stuff. There's no reason for you to really watch that. Um, try to cancel. Try to unfollow. Stop dealing with these people. Try to advise your family members of how fake a lot of this stuff is. How I showed you Tiny sipping that drink. And they'd be like, ah, it's nasty. She didn't even want to taste it. Girl, why don't you take one for the team? Do Be a real actor and gulp it down. She, didn't, she knew it was nasty stuff. Like, come on, so fake. What you watching that for? It, it's destroying your brains. You you guys watch the fake stuff and you, you join in. Oh, yeah, because when that happened to me, the, that's what they want. Now they got they in there. They got you. They got you in there. They, they got you saying that you're doing the same stuff. And you're doing the same stuff unbeknownst to you because of what they're showing you. Okay? You're treating your family wrong. You're skipping over people, not supporting them because of what they're showing you online. Oh, you got to have Dior. Oh, you got to have this and that instead of just getting whoever your friend is, um, new neighbor and stuff. They, they, they're training you to, to F over the people you're supposed to be caring about. And um, I'm just here to try to help reverse that and get you back on track. Okay? Um, yeah, so like, share, subscribe. That's all I have for you guys today. I do have a lot of videos trying to get something all together so I can put it out properly next week. I try to do videos every week because I do work like a, a regular person and that takes up my whole five days um, like they wanted to. So you won't be able to be creative and you won't be able to really um, get into what you'd like to do uh, with your real life. They, they, they make you a machine for five days and to get that uh, a funding to your check um, so you could be able to continue to live in this matrix of the hamster wheel of you getting nowhere. Um, so yeah, we're trying to break out of that. Um, I don't know how or what. Hopefully everyone could like come together somehow and start to really strategize and figure out what would really work with um, um, us being set free, a little bit more freedom, a little bit more of getting into your real life of what you like to do. If you don't want to wake up early, if you want to just lay to bed, we should be able to be obligated to do that sometimes without losing your job without losing food out your mouth, without not being able to make rent or pay a bill. So we need to just start figuring out how to get back into living the life, the one life that we live, instead of focusing on the matrix of working, paying bills, this and that. I'm not happy in happily living my life with devoting most of, more than half of it to that. Okay, if you understand what I'm saying. So... And then you can watch, if you see some of your parents or whatever, you see, they don't let you do this up to your, to your dad. So I'm trying to stop that. I'm trying to not become that and stop it now. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, guys. I'm out of here. And um, yeah, let me, since you guys are supporting uh, Emrek and uh, Amina so much, let me uh, show you my support system. Okay. This is Cash App. Dollar sign, bag of candy. This is my Instagram, number one I candy. This is my TikTok, at big bag of candy. This is Candace Michelle Views, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.